Hi students, I am Dr. Badrinath. Uh, today's topic is social education and health education, both, both in a one single topic, right? Okay. So health education means we know very well. You are awareing, you are knowing, you are learning about your body. It is called as a health education that we know. Okay. And also what is social education? How you are behaving in the society? How you are behaving with others is called as in a social education. Most of the students, as a pharmacy students, we know this about a health education and uh, uh, that and all, okay, the body systems, everything and all uh, that we know. In social behavior also they kept, because most of the students, they are not following this. That's why they recognized that and they kept in your uh, syllabus for you only. Social education, how you are behaving in the society, how you are behaving with others. Okay, that is in uh, the, nowadays this so society means it is nothing but social media nowadays all uh, Twitter, WhatsApp, okay, Instagram, all these uh, Gmail, all these comes under the social media now. Society is nothing but social media. Social media is nothing but society. That is today's uh, definition, right? Yeah. So two topics under one topic. Okay, two topics together in one class. Okay. And this is a subject what we are uh, studying. That is a course on uh, social and preventive pharmacy. This is a new subject uh, introduced to the pharmacy students. Okay, by the Pharmacy Council of India this year. Social and preventive pharmacy. That that is a subject we are reading. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, this is a syllabus. First syllabus, unit one. In the unit one, I have already completed all this portion. And this uh, and today's topic is this social and health education that we are going to be read. And what are the topics I will cover here in this in this class is uh, social education, health education. What is a social education? First, we will see. Okay. Later, health education. What is a health education? What are the contents? Three things under three headings you have to write in the examination. Contents of health education, approaches for health education. How do you have to approach in a country if a government has to educate health educate uh, to the all the people all the people if they have to make them to educate them uh, to educate them regarding the health then you have to that is a primary responsibility of a government to make the people to aware their health okay and principles of health education that is a third one these three things very simply uh, in each one slide i will explain you first we will see the social uh, education. See, social education, uh, nowadays, uh, most of the people do, do not have this common sense. This is in the society. Uh, they are calling as anti-social behavior. This is a powerful example. What recently has been a pregnant elephant. See here, pregnant elephant has taken a pineapple. Actually, a, a silly fellow kept the, a bomb in this uh, pineapple. Okay. But uh, both uh, elephant was very severe injury and uh, to the mouth and it leads to the various uh, complications okay that we know very well it was happened uh, in that this is a uh, instagram so actions anti-social behavior don't be a such a thing you cannot get anything if you are doing uh, like a thing actions that violates the basic rights of others either it is animals or it is a humans whatever it may be first you have to learn how you have to behave in the society that is a uh, Thing. See, all these are the antisocial behavior activities. Okay, actions that violates the basic rights of others. See here, this is antisocial behavior. This is antisocial behavior. This is antisocial behavior. Okay, this see how, how the activities are there. Okay, all these are the antisocial behaviors examples. Yeah, social education, that what we will see. See here, these two are quarreling each other. This fellow is felt happy. You have to be like this. This is not not ideal. See this lady, this girl throwing ice cream in front of uh, this throw on the, his face, and she is feeling very happy. And this is a, she got in the sports uh, cup. She got. Oh, she is feeling uh, happy like that. So something will be there. Uh, you have to how to see social education gives a person how you have to behave in the society with other people. It also gives the person how you have to behave in the social media also. It plays a very important role in the society due to the social education only. That's why whenever they are giving a job to the students, there will be a phone call to the corresponding college. What is his behavior in the college? So all the professors are, to the, especially to the principal, 
they will make a call company whenever you are applying they will call that you don't know the student don't know. then depending upon the uh, feedback what the given by the professors or principal they are giving a job see actually by seeing your marks card they can tell what is your health education uh, sorry what is your b farm c level and what is your educational level that you know what about the social behavior they have to contact that's why it plays a very important role in the society people has to learn the social behavior during their educational life discipline is very very important uh, i.e the time spending in their schools colleges friends neighbors unknown uh, uh, how to behavior with unknown people that and all it develops the person's intellectual political nature both that is a main thing you have to keep in your mind person's intellectual also will be improved number one political nature also it improved you will become a leader social education will also help you to learn about the society four things are there here society what is society this is a society a structured community of the people okay people a structured community of the people bound together by the similar thoughts they have similar thoughts similar similar rules that is called a society okay so social education will give you the idea regarding four things first one is the society second one thing second thing is the culture culture is nothing but shared belief and values of the group of the people belief this is a belief here same mentality here this is a belief culture okay so you have to know your culture you have to respect the others culture also not only your culture you have to respect them consciousness see how they are cooperating here and how they are quarreling here this is called a conflict this is called a consciousness if you are tomorrow if you join in a pharmaceutical company you have to maintain this consensus you have to say so this fellow bring a plug and this fellow bought the adapter both together so that the work will be done here what happened conflict always a clash what is a clash a clash between ideas and principles and the people is called as a conflict this is understanding of the people working together understanding this is actually the basically the need conflict don't go for the conflict don't go for the conflict. that is very very important yeah next come to the health education if you see in the mirror your face you will know actually what you are this in your body but if you see your face in a mirror you will look like this contents of the health education what you have to learn okay human biology you have to know about your body system biology mental health not only physics mentally what is your mental health what is the nutrition you have to take how to maintain hygienic properties hygienic and family health entire your family see here entire family health disease prevention how you have to prevent the disease the subject name itself disease preventive pharmacy keep in your mind disease control how you have to control the corona how you have to control the various and the prevention of accidents that is also comes under here use of health services like this various health services like a hospital primary health centers ambulances okay like uh, all these health facilities how to use that and all you have to know the people has to not only pharmacy student this is a health education the government has to make the people to aware about the health education approaches for the health education there is a two options for the government one is making the mandatory making the rules making the regulation you have to know the health education like that they are making act number two is by providing the services by that is called a service approach so two things are there regulatory approach making the rules service approach they are providing the services so that people are aware no okay if i use this type of toilet it will be good for me it is a good for environment also like that this is called a service approach like that the people themselves they will educate by the uh, services which are provided by the government acts making the rules acts it is a governmental uh, intervention designed to alter the human health for example say here child marriage is banned child marriage prevention act is there it is a mandatory it is a rule don't go for child marriage that is a act but here there is a, no such a acts compulsory taking of the balanced diet you have to take balanced diet proteins 
carbohydrates fats minerals nutrients in a equal proportion you have to take as per their uh, body needs that tunnel there is no such rule so government can make such things make compulsory you have to take a balanced food there is no such thing but they they uh, in soon they will make if you are uh, if you are doing it like this because of the lack of immune system in the uh, uh, country we know very well lack of immune system lack of balanced diet there is no immune system that's why corona is attacked okay and uh, like uh, no uh, no smoking it is not there no alcohol nothing only they are telling you control the alcohol control the smoking like that only but they didn't completely ban it they can make it if they want service approach they are providing the basic health services at their doorstep to the um, uh, of the people okay when vaccination is providing by the government the people has to educate and must be ready to take the accept to the vaccine they have to be ready if the government is providing like big such a toilet that is a bio toilets like a green toilet the public has to utilize it properly okay they have to observe why government is providing okay it is good for our health okay like that and uh, finally we will come to the last slide that is the principles of health education totally nine principles are there uh, all these nine principles uh, makes you to learn about the health education credibility motivating yourself okay and the participation you have to participate in various health programs comprehension good human relationship very important human relation human to human relation is very important now it is a very strong in company also not only in in a home okay in a home or house not only in a home okay it is also very important in the company also okay setting an example learning by doing reinforcement and the interests all these nine things are called as a principles of health education you have to write in the examination compulsorily without fail okay so health education social education both are very very important